Hello, creative friends, and welcome back to Reckless Deck on YouTube, the channel that's devoted to shattering your creative blocks and leveling up your creativity. Now today, we're gonna to do something I don't think that we've done yet, and that's a process episode where we go back and attack one of our own challenges. Now, if you remember, a few episodes ago, we did one on creating your own siren character, and we chose card prompts and created a challenge around making your very own siren. And in this episode, we're gonna go back and grab those prompts, do them, and make a siren character from start to finish. A quick review of what the prompts were. Claws, circlet or tiara, scales, mirror, amulet or charm. Now, I already know that I have a pretty clear idea, a pretty clear direction that I wanna go in for this character. And that's to make a mermaid that's way less magical and much more biological. The kind of mermaid or siren character that I wanna create is like an offshoot of humans, like a different kind of species, not magical, but more like horrifying evolutionary steps. Okay, so before we get started, I have a small disclaimer that I need to make. In this episode, specific to this challenge, we are going to be talking about lady parts, and I'm going to be painting lady parts. We are creating a character that uses certain aspects of a female physicality as kind of a mask, as a way of catching and luring their prey. So fair warning, there will be a bit of nudity in the art that I'm creating today. I'm not gonna be showing you any of the photographic reference that I'm using, but I will be showing you the art. And I want you to know ahead of time that if that's not your jam, that's completely fine. I encourage you to go watch one of the other episodes we've done previously where this is not even remotely an issue. There. Having said that, if you're still with me, let's dive in. Okay, so one of the first things I want to do is show you some of the really awesome reference that I've pulled to make this Siren character. Let's take a look. First thing, this is the one I probably spent the most time with. I believe this guy is called the Vampire Fish. And we've got this guy here too, this ugly deep sea fish. Yeah, and this crazy undersea guy with all of these um, almost like spiny antennas going on. This is a Devonian armored fish. I think some kind of almost like a dinosaur fish. And I really dig these armored face plates. All right, let's dive in. Okay, one thing I can already tell you is this pose is not working for me. I want to create a, a siren that has a that is holding a little bit more back, that has a lot more agency, a lot more alluring menace to it. So this pose is out. I'm going with something new. Okay, like we talked about, I want this character to look like some kind of gross evolutionary offshoot of humans. And one that has kept some version of the most useful aspects of feminine humanity. But I want a lot of it to look kind of off also. You know, to have the parts that might appear above the water, in particular the upper torso, look kind of pitch perfect. But then have it get really weird really fast. Here's a pretty gross detail that I'm actually kind of proud of, giving her gills right under her breasts. You know, you're standing on land or you're in a boat, they would totally be hidden. But then in the water with her, it's revealed that her breasts are really just a lure and that there's this awful, fishy, totally not sexy function going on right alongside them. And you know, if you were one of the sailors that she sucked in, you know, that reveal underneath the water would be horrifying. I like the idea that these creatures have enough intelligence and enough of a society to have jewelry, but I know that I don't want any big necklaces interfering with the neck and the chest area of the character. So this arm cuff is gonna be my amulet for now. Remember how we talked about the reference and how I was really inspired by those fish whose faces looked like they were made up of armored plates? Well, I wanna bring a lot of that into her face so that the silhouette and the overall construction is still feminine and still alluring, 
But when you get up close, you can see that it's actually made up of all these fishy, gross plates. And, of course, by then, it's way too late for you. And I like the idea of putting these octopus suckers on her palm, so, like, if she gets a hold of you, you're not going anywhere. I'm torn about whether I want to give her a colorful tail or a drab, desaturated tail. You know, kind of like an everyday cold water ocean fish, like a cod or tuna or something like that. Ultimately, I think that's the way I'm going to go. I think that she's not the kind of mermaid who's trying to lure sailors in with a fancy, colorful tail. I think that she is more utilitarian than that, and I think that her angle is downplaying her fishy aspects while distracting you with a very alluring, fabulous-looking female head and torso. These little weird feelers or tentacles are inspired by that reference of that spiny deep water fish that we saw in the beginning. I like that they might not be visible when she puts her head up above the water, you know, that they would blend into her hair. But, you know, once you're underwater with her, she gets way more fishy and aquatic. You know, with these creepy little bioluminescent lights that float around her head. Okay, so we've made a lot of progress on our siren, and there's a lot about this that I like. There's some cool ideas going on in here, and I like the way it's coming out. And it's creepy, and I think that that's really the main thing that I wanted to achieve. But when I go back and look at the list of the original prompts, I'm feeling like I went a little light on the amulet, and the mirror prompt is missing completely. And that's for a very specific and very technical reason, which I will reveal to you right now. And that is, I totally forgot about it. Yeah, that's fine. I mean... There's no art cops that are gonna come to my house and arrest me for leaving out the mirror. But as the guy who created Reckless Deck and who makes these videos for you about Reckless Deck, I feel like I kinda of owe you more. So I think it might be time for us to work back in and see if we can't find a way to achieve that mirror prompt. Now, one thing we could do that I'm not gonna do is just stick a mirror in her hand. Try to find a deeper reason to integrate the prompt into the overall design. Find something more interesting and more integral that gives that card a reason for being there and that maybe supports the character's design a lot more than them just holding on to a thing. Okay, so we're back in. Now, here's my idea, and I'm not sure if this is gonna work or what, but I want the mirror to be more significant than just another random hand prop. And I already said I thought it went kind of light on the amulet or charm card. So I think I have an idea that's gonna allow me to both tie the mirror to her character more while at the same time making the amulet uh, prompt much more of a thing. So, what if the mirror were like some kind of memento or a souvenir to her from one of her previous victims? And what if she had a whole set of them that she wore, like some kind of creepy charm bracelet? Kind of like a twisted version of Ariel from Little Mermaid, who was like always hung up on all her little objects. But with our mermaid, it actually starts to cross over into like serial killer trophy collecting. And then we get also this collection of uh, like Titanic era genteel artifacts that, um, you know, maybe make for some cool storytelling. I don't know. Okay, so wow. That was our odyssey of creating our own murdery siren mermaid character based on one of our own challenges from a few episodes ago. Now, before we sign off, I'd like to introduce you to our model. For the reference for our siren character, I worked from a number of shots from a model named Nicole Vaught. And she said that you can follow her and see more of her work on both Twitter and Instagram, at Vauntastic, and follow her Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash Vauntastic. Now, as for Reckless Deck, please continue to tune in because I'm super excited about some episodes we have coming up. First, we get to hang out with some TV personalities and also some artists 
that we're gonna sit down with and talk about their area of expertise and create some very, very cool challenges based on the thing that they do the best, most notably Magic the Gathering and Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Please remember that we have a Kickstarter launching on September the 15th for Reckless Deck Psyche, which is a whole new card prompt system based on creating your character's mind. Very writer and gamer focused. Along with our Kickstarter, we are currently hosting a short story contest that goes now through like November, where you get to use a free preview download of the Psyche cards to create a short story and enter for your chance to actually get your story published in a paperback short story anthology. Please consider hitting like and subscribe. And if you have a comment, leave it. And remember, you can always get a reckless deck of your very own at recklessdeck.com. Thank you so much for watching this and for hanging out with me. We'll see you next time.